Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about differentiate between the transmission modes. So we have already discussed about the transmission modes in the detail in previous video. If you want to watch this video, click on the above thumbnail. So there are three types of transmission modes are there in the network. The first one is simplex, half duplex and full duplex. In this video, I have compared all these three transmission modes. Next. Comparison of transmission modes based on some different parameters. So first parameter is direction of communication. In simplex mode, it is unidirectional. Now see in this figure, here user A will only send the data to user B. Here user A is sender and B is only receiver. Next, in half duplex mode, it is bidirectional but only one at a time. So if A is the sender, at that time B is only receiver. If B is the sender, then at that time A is the receiver. Next, full duplex. In full duplex, it is bidirectional. It means A and B both are sent and receive the data at the same time. So next parameter is send or receive. So in simplex mode, if user A is send the data, so user A is sender and B is receiver. So user A cannot receive the data and B cannot send the data. So it is either sender or receiver. Next, in half duplex mode, uh, both the device can send and receive the data, but one at a time. So it means user A is sender. So at that time, B cannot send the data, only receive the data. Next, in full duplex mode, both devices are sent and receive the data simultaneously. So, or we can say it is same time. So next parameter is performance. Here, simplex mode performance is less in compared to half duplex and full duplex because user a will send the data and at that time user b will receive the data when user b want to send a acknowledgement to user a so in simplex mode it is not possible so there is one way communication next in half duplex mode both are sender and both are receiver but at the same time one is sender and one is receiver so uh, a will send the data at that time b is receiver but b cannot send the data so half duplex mode performance is better than simplex but lower than full duplex mode so here sending and receiving the message is a time consuming process next in a full duplex mode better performance among simplex and half duplex mode because both are sender and receiver at the same time in previous video i have asked the question which mode is best so here is the answer full duplex mode is the best in compared to simplex and half duplex mode. So next parameter is bandwidth utilization. So in simplex mode only A is the sender. So maximum bandwidth will be utilized by the user A. Here B cannot send the data to user A. Next in half duplex mode at a time only one sender is there. So sender will access all the bandwidth. So we can say maximum bandwidth utilization of the channel in half duplex mode. Next, in full duplex mode, so both are sender and both are receiver at the same time. So bandwidth will be shared between both the users. Next, example of simplex is radio or television. Half duplex example is walkie talkies and full duplex example is telephone network or mobile phones. We have already discussed all the example in previous video where I have discussed about all the transmission modes in detail. 